Fellow Biafrans, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to Biafra Universal TV this moment. And I want to make it clear to whosoever that is listening to me that this battle of freedom for Biafra nation shall not stop until the Biafrans are completely emancipated from mental slavery and subjugation, limitation, relegations, depressions, and tribalism. And I can quickly let you know that the actions and movements of Nigeria government and the Southeast politicians have made it so photogenic to every one, no matter wherever you are, looking at it, that the plans from this set of people is to make sure that Biafran citizens they did not see to eat, neither to sleep. When you watch the actions of Charles Soludo, which have decided to use himself for example of what is going to come. His plans is not different from that one of Enugu State, Pitamba, who declare people's shops lockdown. And Charles Soludo imitated him, but he refused to ask Pitamba how he felt when the matter was on ground and how Enugu State looked like. So he applied the same method to make sure that Biafrans are being intimidated with the fear in order to stop observing the sit at home enacted by the Biafra government. So, I want to send a message. Please, as you are watching this video, make it to go viral. All right? Spread this video. Let everybody hear what I said and what I'm saying. So, don't just keep it to yourself as you watch it. Spread it. Make it go viral so that the whole world can hear how we Biafrans are being intimidated, cheated, humiliated, annihilated, frustrated, ostracized in our own fatherland, Biafra as if we are strangers or servitudes. Let the whole world hear us and come for our rescue. So, because things are getting out of hand, a situation whereby the governor you voted for, signed for your debt. We are being treated in Biafra land, which belong to us as slaves. And I'm using this opportunity to inform whoever that is listening to me to understand that Biafrans are not destitute and they are not strangers in the land of Biafra. So, upon all the intimidations we have seen from Charles Soludo, Pitamba, Hope Ozadema, uh, and the ex-governors, and etc. I think this moment I want to inform you that 
we have heard enough and we have seen a lot. So, what remains now is the solution. And I want to say that the solution is here now. To make Biafra land a place to live for all. A comfortable place, a place without traffic issues happening. And I want to tell you that it is not going to happen by the hands of Igbo politicians who have engaged on earthly cleansing and human blood in order to return power to continue ruling animals because they have dehumanized Biafrans. They didn't see anything reasonable that looked like human being in Biafrans life or structure. And therefore, they quickly concluded that it is only they, Igbo politicians and their families, are human beings. So every other one existing in Biafra land is created to serve them. And this is the belief and the faith of Nigeria government. Nigeria government have decided to enslave Biafrans and colonize them for the second time in the same evil entity called Nigeria. But we have completely refused their ideas because their ideas are not going to help us. And their movements are against our wish. They move against our wish and our unborn children's future. So which we believe we cannot fold our hands, continue watching abomination and sacrilege being committed on daily basis in Biafra land by the hands of Igbo politicians in conjunction with Nigeria government that either somebody is lost in the name of kidnapping or raped to death. Sometimes you found fallen cannibals in the forest and the bushes. International community bear me witness that what I'm saying is the truth because the pictures of the animalistic attitude portrayed by Nigeria government and their militaries and police and DSS have become unbecoming. And I'm not here to warn anybody to desist from what he or she have decided to do as a Nigerian. But I'm here to inform their friends that enough is enough and the world is enough for the wise. We have been subjugated for over 50 years now, under pressure, we believe that by the grace of God Almighty who have created us, he blessed us naturally to withstand every test of time, not irrespective of how hard us and the tissues and tons that it may look like. We are the people who are very productive, creative, dynamic, in understanding, wiser than the wisest in the world. But I don't think our wisdom can be taken for granted by the uncircumcised Philistines who have arranged themselves to be running oligarchy government in Nigeria. Therefore, my brothers and my sisters, I am here to let you know that I'm not comfortable 
with the arrangement of Igbo politicians and Nigeria government for sit at home to stop or for Nigeria to remain one. As a military officer who once commanded 82 divisions, 65 battalion of Nigeria, Nigeria Defense Academy, Enugu, I want to let you know that from henceforth, whatever that may be the case to salvage and to restore Biafra nation, which was existed before for three years as a sovereign nation, I throw my weight behind the government of Biafra, both home and in exile. To assure you this, I didn't start today making an effort for the actualization of the dream of Biafra restoration. I'm ready to spend the last fathom of mine in this request, our quest for Biafra freedom. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends all over the world, I want to assure you and reassure you that it's not going to be a business as usual. This is an unusual business to Nigerian government. And this is why Igbo politicians and Tinibu and his cohorts are now running health as scatter. Because the faces of Biafran's 21st century security forces and their ideology and method, method are not the same with that one of 1967-1970. There is a distinction and there is a rapid gap. The velocity and intensity, you cannot be able to withstand the heat. Therefore, I stand today to let you know that not even a hair on, the, on your head as a Biafran will it fall on the ground without repelling the attacks of the enemies. I know they are listening to me, the invaders, the oppressors, the bandits, and the terrorists who gather themselves together to run a government of ethnic cleansing and uh, sucking of human blood. Because I can tell you that what have died in Nigeria are reading in millions today. I'm not a selfish man. I'm not self-centered. But I'm saying the truth. Why I'm telling you that I'm not a selfish man is because Igbo man is a human being. Urobo man is a human being. Kalaba man is a human being. Hausa man is a human being. Yoruba man is a human being. Name them. So, the kind of subjugation and intimidation and the killings by the hands of Fulanese in Nigeria is alarming. International community such as United Nations have placed Fulani Mietiala deadly 
deadliest terrorist on the world index as the number fourth deadliest terrorist on earth. And the only place Fulanis could found peace and rest and comfortability to carry out their genocidal activities is in Nigeria. Because Nigeria have registered themselves to be an Islamic state extremist. especially in West Africa and the whole world. Nigeria is known to be a terrorist country. And this is why nothing is working in Nigeria. But let me say a little thing, because I don't have all the time with me. It is painful that when this terrorism activities and banditry activities are going on that every member of the evil entity called Nigeria kept quiet and sealed their mouths. They refuse to open up, they refuse to say a word. But I want to inform you that the Minister of Defense and the Chief Defense Minister, or whatever they call him, and the Army Chief and Nigerian Security Authorities, have surrendered to Nigeria terrorists. They have submitted it to them. And this is why the Army Chief, the Army Chief Defense Staff, the Inspector General of Police, don't forget that all these are fallen stuffs. And they are Muslim to Muslim ticket. All of them are Muslims. And the fallen who are killing people up and down in Nigeria are Muslims. So, and this is why the federal government of terrorists of Nigeria decided to hinge his hand and himself with them relentlessly. And this is why people are dying in their numbers and nobody cares. The only thing the authoritarians in Nigeria can do is to let you know that there is no solution to ameliorate or to mitigate the sufferings of Nigerian citizens in the hands of fallen Yetiala terrorists. That today, I'm saying the truth whether you like it or not, it is the truth. Many states in Nigeria are no more farming. And this is why hunger is increasing geometrically in the country called Nigeria. Things are very ex exorbitant in the market, such as food items, and foodstuffs. So, how can a common man who didn't even have a job be sustained? How can those who have family cope? How can business flourish? Since when you open your shop, the terrorists will come and ransack and boggle your shop. In the name of what? They are Nigerian citizens. And this have tantamounted that their friends must be liberated from the shackle of penury and impoverishment by the hands of T 
sustainable 